Troy Police Department is back in the spotlight tonight. The chief told CBS 6 more than a year ago officers needed them, but nearly a year later, there's no progress. Now the attorney general is investigating a shooting involving police officers, a case that has no dash cam video to examine. CBS 6's Kimberly Howard is live outside the Troy Police Department. Kimberly, what is the chief saying about this right now? And in Cody, the chief would not speak with me on camera today, citing the attorney general's ongoing investigation. But we do know that those talks about the dash cam continue and that there are two major hurdles blocking getting the department those dash cams. Well, let's face it, we're going to have an Austrian Val shooting. That's Troy Police Chief John Tedesco just over a year ago. His prediction came true last month when Sergeant Randall French shot and killed Edson Thevenin, who officers say led them on a chase before pinning French between two vehicles. Thevenin's family says it isn't convinced that's what happened. The case is now being reviewed by the Attorney General's office, but there is no dash cam video to review because the city's cruisers lack the technology. This conversation has been ongoing between the department, uh, the police chief, and the mayor. John Salka is deputy director of public information for the city. He says city leaders pretty much agree dash cams need to happen. The larger problem is, is cost. Dash cams can run roughly $6,000 per vehicle. Last year, the police chief told me he planned to work with the new administration to try and secure funds. I will advocate to get back on track with this plan and we'll seek federal funding or maybe some state funding or maybe there'll be a budget appropriation. Today, Sanko said everything is on the table in terms of finding the money, but retired police captain John Cooney points out cost isn't the only concern. The information that's down, that's recorded each and every day, each and every minute needs to be appropriately downloaded. It needs to be appropriately secured. It could be potentially evidence in a case. Cooney says the more time ticks on, the more the perceived need for cameras and police work grows. Video whether it be dash cam or body cam, now serves as a witness, and it serves as a very uh, valuable witness and truthful witness. Now, dash cams would not only help settle disputes between people and the police, according to Cooney, he also says that they could be used for training purposes. An example might be an officer being able to review that dash cam video to see how he could handle a traffic stop differently. Live in Troy, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Kimberly. And so what about other departments in our area? We called the cities of Albany and Saratoga Springs and both report they have dash cams in their police cruisers.